Ahoy! As promised earlier, this video is going to be about costumes. First of all, if you open your inventory, you can see that there's an entire equipment page dedicated to all these fancy cosmetic items, and as the names right here suggest, the top row is made of the costumes that are actually good for something, and the rest have no other purpose than changing your character's appearance. Every costume is obtained through the item shop for insanely expensive prices, as you could probably guess. Each one of them is account binding once you open the gift box, and some of the clothes come in bundles, like for example this pirate hat came with a suit, and the appearance of your costumes can be overridden by equipping a second one in the display slot. The displayed one in that case has all its stats disabled. Now you probably noticed I'm not much for fashion, seeing as this character has been wearing the same pirate costume for half a decade at least. As such, in this video I'm gonna focus on the so-called option applied costumes. And those are the clots, the astral vehicle and the force wings. So you probably want to add slots and epic options to them, otherwise they remain useless. Those are the only two things you can currently do with a costume to make you stronger. Let's begin with the slots. Costumes come without them and to extend them, that is to add empty ones to it, you need converters from the craft NPC of Portlux. All three of them are right there. But wait, what kind of shop is that? Well, it's actually more of an exchange system than a shop. So to get those things you need to gamble around a bit. Nothing new in Cabal, right? All three types of those costumes have a separate loot box type item available at certain NPCs for some money and AP. You know, that's the yellow bar under your XP bar and the stuff you spend on runes. Don't confuse it with the useless random number under your SP bar. The good news is there's a pretty damn high chance for all of them to contain the material needed for the slot extenders, so you're likely to get enough for each quite fast. The bad news, well, you're also gonna need scrolls to fill the slots if you miraculously get there, and unfortunately the scrolls are obtained from the same source as those materials. So if the chance to get materials is, as mentioned before, in a mathematically sound expression, pretty damn high, it means the chance to get scrolls is 1 minus pretty damn high, which about equals pretty damn low. And here's bad news episode 2, the converters can fail. They have a fixed success rate, but fortunately if they fail your costume remains as it is. You're going to need another converter in that case, or maybe another dozen, because 80% in the world of Cabal qualifies as failing more often than not. Anyway, let's say you've got three of those, now it's time to fill the slots. And here comes bad news episode 3, success rate is not even close to 100% and if you try adding more than one of the same option it goes even lower. Also, just as in the case of everything else, failing the third slot deletes the content of the second one. In short, it's risky as b The contents of the slots can be removed and stored in a capsule if for some reason you wish to add different options in them or if you wish to transfer the contents to another costume. That includes selling the slots, but the capsule by default is bound to your account, and to seal it to make it tradable you need a much more expensive seal for the capsule. All of those are found, you guessed it, in the cash shop. Now that the slots are taken care of, it's time for the epic options. To apply that you need an epic converter. Those things are typically obtained through events and are very similar to bike epic converters. That means their success is guaranteed, but the outcome is a random value between the lowest and the highest possible values. Typically closer to the lowest, of course. If you don't like the result and would like to try again, there's a reset scroll, in the item shop of course, that removes the epic option so you can start over. Epic option can be sealed with yet another cash shop item in case you wish to transfer it to another costume or sell it to other players. So speaking of selling, you may want to get rid of your old costume. As I mentioned earlier, they are all account binding, so first of all you need to make them tradable. To do that, there's a bunch of items at the NPC shop, nah, totally kidding, they are in the cash shop of course. So you're gonna want to look for the costume hanger, the weapon storage box and the hat rack for their respective items. Currently there's no such item for wing and vehicle costumes. However, you cannot see the costume that has slots already. And only the contents of the slots can be removed with the capsule I mentioned, but the empty slots still remain. So does that mean it cannot be sold? Well, more or less, it does. But there is a workaround. The costume equipped or in the inventory of a character can be transferred to the buyer with the entire character. So you can just dump them on a new level 1 warrior and sell it. 
There's a link in the video description if you wish to know more about the transfer process. That's about it, and if you've got any questions, the comments are always open. Ahoy!